Hey, welcome to a new video. Yay. I'm starting this week restocking some color system die cut stickers. It's funny because a few months ago I was so mad at this cricut paper and ready to find a substitute for that because it keeps curling on itself and it's really annoying to be taping it down every single time. But I had to go back to it because the colors are just like, there's nothing like it. I switched over to online labels matte paper because it was, well, more affordable. But then I kind of got over the colors. It's so weird. Like, the colors are not that vibrant, not that saturated. And I really, really like my colors to be very, very strong. So I'm back to the Cricut paper, which is not really paper, it's vinyl. Probably that's why it's so good, but well, I'm happy like that. really excited for these washi tapes because I think they're so cute. I'm loving the whole like scribbly pattern vibe, especially for adding backgrounds to my work lately. And um, when I saw this washi tape, I just had to grab it. Even though I don't really order from AliExpress that much, I don't really like it because you never know the source and I don't want to be supporting a weird ethical habits. But anyway, I guess from time to time, it's kind of okay-ish, I think. Now to packing some orders with the recently restocked friend. <laughs> I love when somebody buys exactly the two stickers that I love the most, which are the planters and the color system one. I feel like they get me or I don't know, I, I get them. <laughs> Well, but I'm really kind of biased because if I create and I put it up on my shop, it's because I really, really like it or else I wouldn't put it there. But it, you know what I mean? It's just like special when somebody hits exactly the two that you enjoy the most. I feel like sending them a note to let them know that their choices were really special, but then I already send them a note. So I don't want to be that person who sends like 300 messages desperately wanting a friend. <laughs> but guess what? I, I am that person. What can I do? I love decorating the envelopes and just drawing random things. Sometimes I like too much one thing that I draw, like this cloud guy. <laughs> and then I just keep repeating him. But then I'm like, no, even be creative. Like it has to be a little bit more uh, special, I guess. <laughs> so it's nice to have some fun with something that could look so like repetitive which is packing orders, but I think you get to spice it up sometimes, like adding little freebies, adding notes that you can say whatever you want. Sometimes I pop a joke or two, but uh, don't tell anybody. Um, and yeah, and finding cute ways to decorate it and handwrite little notes, and of course stickers and drawings and stamps. I'm 
using this water brush pen to close off my envelopes because well ain't nobody gonna be licking them and I feel like sometimes a sponge is too much or a cloth okay so next thing is I was contacted by a company called Faux Memo and they have these little label printers they're so cute because they're so small and the colors are really nice like pink teal i think they have one that looks like a piano <laughs> so they're super super cute as you see them and i like the idea of it because well it doesn't use ink because it's a thermal printer and you get to be more eco-friendly so i was really excited to try them out I don't really accept things and products from companies, usually, because I don't like to have things that I'm not gonna use for sure, but this one I felt like I was really happy because I felt like I could um, print my labels for my shop. Right now I handwrite the addresses of my envelopes, but I thought that would be really cute if I had like a special label for everybody. And I got to design from time to time a new one and then refresh all my packing game. <laughs> Check how cute is this tape that came closing off the roll. So the only instruction basically was to open it up and make sure that the label is facing up, down. It was only one instruction and I don't remember it. Great. <laughs> Well, next thing is to let it charge for a bit. And while that happens, I'm gonna download their application. When you open the app, there are a few things, mainly templates that you can choose. And well, you don't need to create anything that's already there. And you could just write on top of it. And since I'm just trying out for the first time the printer before I try to customize anything, I'm just gonna print it to see how it goes. And I just love it. It's so adorable. So cute. Maybe the size is a little bit on the small side, but I think we can make it work. Okay, so next step is to try to put text on top of it. That was a little bit confusing, to be honest, because I thought I could just use one of the templates and then write on top of it and then, well, like change the size of my font and then move it around. But as you can see, there is no way to drag the text around. I cannot move it. I can only write. There is a fixed text area and then you can basically only write in there. You cannot choose where to write and you cannot move it around as you want. So then I spent a very confusing time trying to find a way to do that. Then after a few tests, I found out on this notes section, you can import an image from your phone. So I basically downloaded the template that they have and then I imported it again so I could have it as my base image. Then I can put a text over it and now I can move it around and edit it the way I want and change the text and place it wherever I want. I can even add emoji. Hmm, that's great. But then remember that everything is still gonna be black and white because it's not a color printer. Oh, if you like the printer and wanna grab one for yourself, I'm gonna leave a link in the description with a little discount code maybe to decorate your planner or your bullet journal then you don't have to write out every single thing every day or every week you can just create a template and then it's there working for you now to the fun part which is actually designing something of my own it was not that easy to come up with the design as i thought it would be <laughs> i tried a tree and a mushroom and a little ice cream but I didn't like anything, so I came up with this apple. Simple and cute. And uh, after that, I just had to import like I did before with my template. But now I, of course, had the new one that I designed and put the text on top. 
I'm sorry I had to blur everything out, but it was because I already tried it for an actual envelope that I had to mail out, so I didn't want to waste anything. But I think you can get the idea of it. It's really, really cute and it adds a whole refreshing look to my packages. I really love it. Hi. So, it's our anniversary today. How long have we been married? 25, 30 years? 76. Anyways, we're going to get some snacks. <laughs> and then we're gonna get some fancy Mexican food. Taco Dancing. Bell. <laughs> My wife is bougie, so bougie. Why don't you show the Korean store? Snack time. Don't forget your mask. Snack time. You say safe. Here we go. Hello, people. Look like a fancy gangster. <laughs> oh, okay. It's basically just sugar and flavor, but. Whoa. No? Okay, yes. <laughs> I got a very humble one. Speaking of that, let's go strawberry. <laughs> I found this really nice snack. What do you think? <laughs> okay, jokes aside, you know how useful this could be, huh? Honestly, I kind of forgot why we're here and then I saw this thing and look, look all the things you can do. Oh, come on, focus. Focus. Look at this. Look at all the things you can do. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. You know what? I'm taking this. Hello, hello. So we're gonna do first. So you're just gonna be doing the intros for my videos now? Off. Oh. I take over the channel. I become the face of the channel. Mm -hmm. Even Alien's illustration becomes mine. And then you just mm -hmm. all you have to do is the life. The illustrations. I do everything else. <laughs> you're even on my hand. Illustration. Even my hand. Yeah. <laughs> this relationship. You look cuter than me. I don't but like it. It makes okay. me it uncomfortable. It doesn't. It doesn't mean much. I'm. That's just who I am. You know. You gotta love me for who I am. With no hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine if you had hair. Imagine if Looks like you're a bird with soft. this. Like <laughs> Say sorry. I'm sorry, I apologize. That was that was way <laughs> too much. Way over the line. You can get sandwich. Yes. Anything else? Anything you want? Burger? Uh, wait, no. Caramel chicken Kit Kat. A few moments later. Stop laughing at me, please. What happened? Well, they didn't. Well, the panel was closed, so no sandwich. But guess what I got? Nice. Fine. This one costs a little bit more than a doesn't sandwich. Doesn't taste good. Seventy nine dollars. Yeah. Uh, oh, Why did you get a fine? I don't. Hmm? Why did you get a fine? Because I parked when I was supposed to. <laughs> it was your job helping me to park? It's so confusing. I saw it a TikTok is. yesterday of a of a guy trying to park, and then there were like five different uh, signs. And then yeah. he was like, it's more confusing than things. We're gonna play question games. <laughs> Fun. Fun. What's the silliest thing you've ever done? The silliest thing I've ever done? What's your everyday the life? The silliest thing I've ever you done. You top yourself Getting every married. day. <laughs> Be a boy. You're stranded on an island and you get three raw foods to have an endless supply of. Which ones do you choose? Salmon. Easy. Sushi. You're gonna have yeah, endless, salmon. A, an endless pile of salmon. Yeah, but I mean raw, like raw salmon, not yeah, but it's gonna not go like bad. in a live salmon, huh? It's gonna go bad. It's better to have the the live salmon. Everything gonna go bad at some point, but I can just like. What are some ways to get some? I completely ignored you. <laughs> what are Story some of ways? Right. Yes. Huh? Go ahead. What are some Sorry, ways? Go ahead. To... Yes, I'm listening. What? Uh, what? That, that, that. <laughs> what are some ways to get someone's number without speaking? Sitting speaking? their phone and calling yourself. Sit in their phone and you call yourself. Um, without speaking? Without speaking? Pull up a knife. <laughs> They're gonna give you all they have. Um, Fair enough. Uh, 
What is the most random thing a stranger has said to you? You are the stranger. That exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 the way they say when I was uh, when I was a kid, uh, I think it was like either a salesperson who came to our house to, to present some products or whatever, and uh, he's like, can I can I talk to your mom, little girl? Little girl. <laughs> What movie would you want to turn real and why? Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> what is this? It's a Gibo Orange Julep. <laughs> uh, it's one of Hi. the most famous things in Montreal. It's basically an orange that sells you orange juice. <laughs> Can you show me the thing that you bought? Julep. <laughs> Whoa, it's huge. I'm drive, because my wife, she has a driver's license, but she hasn't driven a day since she came to this country. Because somebody's driving around all the time. 100% true. How does it look? That's funny. Oh, it's beautiful. Can I see it? Yeah. It's good. Now we're gonna try the one that you actually already ate. Oh, it comes with a mask. Not a mask. Just yeah, a mask for hamsters. Ooh. <laughs> Put it on your face and take a I'm selfie. I'm looking at the pictures. I just don't understand really what it means. You can take a selfie. Oh. Yeah, it tastes electric. <laughs> I do not approve this. We are in a beautiful it's... setting. There are trees everywhere. And then boom, <laughs> poor little trees. What are they looking at? It's inducing the forest. At the same time, animals seem very happy. Look at all those happy animals. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, they just eat. Oh no, oh no, it looks so ugly. Oh no, no. And it's not even good. It tastes so bad to tell you not to. I mean, before you finish the last sentence, because your joke was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up not even filming because my battery died and my phone died. Everything died on me. So the next day, I started out listing the things that I have to do for my week, which is the way I plan my week. I always do everything on Sunday night, so I know exactly what to do the day after and then I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to wake up earlier so I can decide what to do with my day. It works fine for me like thinking of everything at once and then just adapting or adjusting anything that happens on the week itself so yesterday for our anniversary i didn't know i was gonna get a gift box but i did and it was full of art supplies like the best gift ever and a gift card which is perfect so i got myself this 
acrylic gouache slash acrylics. It's called soft soft body acrylic, but it behaves a little bit like gouache, a little bit like acrylics. <laughs> it's funny because acrylic gouache is already between gouache and acrylics, but then the soft body acrylics is between the acrylic gouache and the acrylics. Whoa, mind blowing. <laughs> I just wanted to have fun with my new art supplies and chill for a bit and just draw a very very simple thing it's been a long time since I haven't opened this Copic sketchbook I love this paper it's so comfortable to draw in it it's so beautiful the colors turn out so vibrant so I thought I could add a little something to it I just went on my saved pictures on Instagram and trying to find something cute, an outfit, a hairstyle, something that could inspire me a little bit and just quickly doodled and it's kind of tricky for me to doodle for fun super quick because I like to spend time thinking about a drawing and knowing what I'm gonna do and it's just fun to me that the final result is something that I'm gonna enjoy. Not that it has to be perfect or anything like that, but just something that I'm excited to finish. And I like spending like um, an hour or two in a drawing. So quick doodles for me, they leave me with a feeling of unfinished business. <laughs> like um, I don't really like the end result just because I know I didn't spend much time so I know it's not really that I put a lot of effort I, at the same time I know they're just meant for practice but it gets me really confused because I want to feel good about it but I end up feeling confused so it, it's very funny to look back and remember how I was feeling but nonetheless it's good to just sit down and draw for a bit even if it's just for fun even if it's not your usual way of doing things and your usual goals. I have no idea why I decided to do everything in this blue. It doesn't go well. Well, I'm embracing the whole doodling just for fun and, and to try not to be thinking about it being perfectly the way you usually like it. And I guess I succeeded because I didn't erase everything. <laughs>
Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for being here and for watching it. I'm really, really grateful for your time and I'll see you on the next one. I'm wishing you a great, great day. Bye.